something then. Fine by me. We should go. We've already done what we can here. And like yeah. you said, this is a good spot to not end well. I mean, we've had a dance, we've enjoyed some music, you know, it's it's a... We paid for it. Well, I didn't pay for it. One don't pay for music like one appreciates it and tips generously. There we I'm go. Cultured swine. <laughs> yeah, I can dash you Trust against appreciation. The I can crush you against the cobbles of this road right now. You know that, right? Yeah, it won't be doing that. You need me to get out of here. <sighs> we could use him as the tip. Although I feel that'd be more of an insult than a tip. Hmm. Bye. I'll go over and shove down, uh, drop down some golden coins. The spirit nods appreciatively. I'll uh, nod back. You can, as you are watching the band, you walk away. You notice that the one shade—I say shade—I shouldn't say shade. Shades are very specific. None of those anymore. The spirit that you, you know, tip to, nod at is staring at you as you go this entire time up until now like yeah they look at you every now and then basically anytime any of you approach like when cork was trying to have an exchange with them but for the most part they look down at their instruments or upwards directly and arc singing while playing this one stares at you as you walk away he never stops playing he stares. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, you ever see Klaus, the Netflix movie? Um, oh, that animated one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, but I don't remember much of it. Uh, do you remember the creepy little girl that had a carrot? No, I do not. <laughs> Never mind then. I thought I had a good reference here, but uh, I guess not. <laughs> Sorry. That's no, okay. I can't expect everyone to know every reference. Mm. But he does stare at you, eerily, as you walk away. Okay. Here's the thing about the situation, I don't have an answer. This is what we call a free-form encounter. If you guys think you've done enough, you're free to leave. Yeah, the only thing I have is, uh, what I'm trying to think of. Uh, bros would just be like humming or whistling the tune as they leave, just like carrying it off with them. And so you guys depart, hearing this echoing performance behind you. <laughs> the facades of the saloons, they're not saloons, but not so I'm calling them still have spirits watching all of you but they begin going away less and less as you guys keep going and going and going closer and closer towards the grave life until eventually they are in a similar manner as you guys first entering have very few maybe one here and there and it's at this point is when you go to that other combat encounter And at this point, probably wrap up. We could have done more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, Benny 2.0. We could have, but I didn't know anything. So I'd throw more money at them. Anything. Yeah, I didn't have anything. Really? Uh, yeah, it's. What time is it? Oh, 14 till 6. All right, perfect time to end, actually. Delete uh, uh, my money. Deplete yourselves with some coin. Yeah. Oh, I've only got ten gold now in all the world. Yes, to ignore the five thousand three hundred gold pieces you guys have in the bag of holding. Ignore that one. Ah, that's such a shame. I was once so rich, and now oh, look at me. I poverty stunts. I know. I, have no I am more money. I am dressed in butter only rags. Okay, you have the armor you took for, like at like Jim Kendler gave you fucking free armor. <laughs> fucking ungrateful. And a free sword as well. And a free sword, yeah. Ungrateful yeah. motherfucker. 
should have nicked a bow while I was at it. Yeah, and some arrows, and a gun, I and, should... you know, yeah. a hammock, a, a well, three-bedroom house, a skull of teleports back to town. <laughs> that would be even better. Somewhere in Diablo 2. A, a 12% <laughs> interest rate bank account. <laughs> yeah, you should have just grabbed it all. A good 401k. <laughs> Some uh, cryptocurrency. <laughs> Should grab it all on your way out. Should have, yeah. I had a child, so I just let it slip by. I know, you're like Eminem. Just kidding, he's the opposite of that. But yeah, we are ending session there. Thank you mm -hmm. all so much for playing. Bit of a slower session today, but I think that's fine because we're trying to get back into it after taking a week break, as well as getting into, well, for some of us, uh, our original characters, some of us are. Uh, Still original characters, but so are not. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, slow day today. You guys still got some good stuff done. Like uh, you guys are properly rewarded by your shades, so that's nice. Yeah, slower session today, but that's fine. That's fine. Coming up next on next week uh, on AMC's The Walking Dead Z. <laughs> All I had to do was D and D, DBZ, D and D. It's right there. No, I like uh, The Walking Dead because it's not sure who we're talking about. Are they talking about The Undead or you guys? Huh. Next week on AMC's The Walking Dead, boss fight. We're going to start session hey. with them. Oh, okay. Yep. My other party of my other campaign, rather, uh, I have started getting better at doing hot start sessions, which means combat immediately. Mm hmm. Your guys' arena will be the Gravelight Plaza. The enemies you face are minions, save for some. Save for some. Shouldn't be too dangerous, I think. Then again, after god tier percussion section Rafe there, uh, you know, sometimes the stats just, they just don't work. Don't work out. How many attacks did he dodge? He dodged near... A One, dozen? two, two three, four, five. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, yeah, wait. One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five, six. I think some from before this. Seven with the vicious lock. He dodged seven attacks. Fuck. Wow. Sake. Or he six survived against seven attacks. What a god. What an absolute Chad! I know you. Yeah. I, on on um, on a balance note, Crash. Uh, if I so, yeah. for instance, my current hit points is fifty, yes. and my max hit point is sixty. Yes. If I were to bestow fortitude on someone, what would happen with my health? Try and I would say it probably if you had the that that ten that so like you drop from sixty to fifty, say. Like, and you had full health, I'm assuming. The uh, state of that health would would determine if you heal it back or not. Is That's probably what I would say. Okay. Assuming you're not unconscious when you heal it back. Yeah, but what, what what when I'm going downwards with my max health? I would say you won't lose HP as a result. Uh, you would just lose a max HP. Okay. Yeah, so, if, so now when you get it back, you don't get any healing back. But if you had that amount of health healed originally, and you get it back, you get you get to heal ten back. So it's determined as to what you were prior to casting the spell. So the starting point, gotcha. Yeah, I think that's a relatively fair way to do. No. Oh, oh Sonia. Oh, Sonia. Get back here, slave. <laughs> you can't hide what's inside. Oh, the kids kept. Oh, we should have done more with the, the with the band. Did you have any? If you guys want to, if you guys think of anything to? creative, like we could try doing something, but I, I'm, I, am willing to move past it. But it depends on what, how creative a thing you guys have had, will have had done. Fuck me. It depends on you guys. Mm -hmm. I don't have an answer for it, so. Yeah. It, you guys might have some more instances of this in later districts. Mm -hmm. Like, these ghosts aren't going to do anything for you in the short term. In the long term, we'll see, but in the short term, nothing's going to happen. 
even yes or no success or fail. Like you're not gonna do anything in the short term. Uh, the reason I rolled luck, just so you guys are thinking I tampered with none of the scenarios I'm out. Uh, I would love to see if Abigail would show up then and there. Because if it took you guys four hours to get from the Corsair Fiend to the den, and four hours back... That's a fair chunk of time used. Abigail has had eight hours, seven, because she would have just gotten resurrected, to get back to you guys. I just don't know how quickly she goes back. I don't know what her method of, her mode of transportation is to get back. I have some ideas, though. But yeah, thank you There's all for playing. one thing that I would, uh, if possible, have done before heading down that final plaza toward uh, the road towards the final grave like uh, plaza. Mm, yes. Also, uh, I have another point to add after this, but yeah, what do you want to uh, I would have cast uh, Bestow Fortitude, transfer some hit points to Lorelei. Okay. Um, save that for next session. Like we're like you guys aren't gonna start like roll initiative. Like I'll describe the place and obviously and stuff like that. So just re like write that down somewhere as a reminder, and we'll we'll do that next session. Okay, cool. Um, I will say that your guys' time at the the band constitutes a short rest. Oh, okay. And they do confer the benefit of a song of rest. Hmm with or without hit points. So you guys heal for free. That's right, nine. Oh, nine, okay. You guys have free nine hit points. Nine. Not ten. Nine. Uh, temporary or? Not ten. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, These cool, come back to Yeah. Back up yeah, that anyway. constitutes a short rest. That's the benefit they offer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, next week, boss fight. One which has been months in the making, to be honest with you. <laughs> Literal months. <laughs> That's fine, though. I am trying to get through the districts faster and faster, though. Mm -hmm. We could be free of this fucking derelict town. So, yeah, uh, that's why you guys are able to basically queer through a district in one session. Minus boss up there. That's my hope. A district a session. With time in between of RPs and stuff, so yeah, just yeah. for a second. Mm -hmm. Later ones will probably be harder, and not, not necessarily in difficulty, but in terms of trying to get them down to one session. I will say there is one which has a lot of puzzles and riddles and stuff, so that's Good probably session. gonna be the hardest one to calibrate for. <laughs> you guys are fine. Warlock hit dice is a D8, right? Yeah, D8, yeah. yeah. everything's a D8. Except martial classes and wizard sorcerer. How how much are you hurting for? One hit point. So I'm just figuring out which of the hit points. <laughs> you gonna spend a hit die just for one hit point? Yeah. <laughs> I guess not. Smoke the one you got him. Uh, nah, I'm gonna. Nah. Do you okay. guys want to know, as players right now, what the order of districts is? So, as to know, like, when you guys should put your thinking caps on. Yeah, that may be a good idea. <laughs> AKA, certain nights of don't go to sleep at, like, an hour before the session. Just kidding, that's me. Which means I should go to sleep an hour before session, because during puzzles, I can go take a nap and just chill. <laughs> Just kidding, that's, that's me. No, it's not me. Oh, uh, next week I, I can. Uh, I'll schedule good. Schedule good or ungood? Schedule is good. Yes! I thought you said it might be... Uh, oh, did you manage to change it? No, but uh, um, I got sick leave from the doctor's note because of my head. Oh, the MRI. So, yeah. Uh, nice! And I have, they put me on long-term sick, uh, so I work two hours less every day. Oh, that's sweet. Awesome. Do you still need, like, are, are you, is your next Saturday, like, just basically like today? Or, because I know before you had three hours late, but if you have two hours less. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, they put the, the Saturday a little earlier and the, and the Sunday later. That paired with my sick leave means I have lots of uh, time to sleep in between session and work. So it's fine. Which is very fitting for your type of injury. <laughs> hmm. Awesome. That's good to hear. Sweet, sweet. Uh, I lost my train of thought. 
What was I saying? Uh, Order of Districts. Sorry. Ah, yes. <laughs> no, no, you're fine, you're fine. I was trying to remember. Yeah, you guys want to know the Order of Districts. Mm-hmm. Because... To those, to the two of you that died and went to Traverse Town, you guys might be able to sort of foreshadow things. And I want it to be a case of your your characters are able to foreshadow it, which means you as players have to be able to foreshadow it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, the order of districts is as follows. I'm gonna be entirely open, even if it's a bit meta gaming of me. I don't give a flying fuck. I'm the fucking one arbitrating this shit. Uh, People on D and D subreddit can go fuck off. The order districts is obviously right now. You guys have the orchestra, this uh, music district. So this is the district that you guys heard about in Traverse Town about, as in Kindlers. Yeah, there was a time where the beacon flicker, but then the town got a better culture. That's this place. This is that district. The the uh, <laughs> necro version of it. The necro dancers. The necro dancers. <laughs> That's game. Yes. <clears throat> next town is the puzzle town. The next town is a child's town. It's the child's town. If you've never heard the dishonored drunken whaler song, well, I have it right here. Ah, it's such a creepy song. I have it right here, and that will be the song for next district. Just a little girl all alone in her own district. And she wants to play, whether you guys are willing or not. Oh, that's going to be such a bad time. Mm. <laughs> Bust out your thinking caps for that session. Puzzles and riddles and games of chance. Maybe not chance. I might not do that. But games. A kid's town. There's nothing scary in the world than a kid that can do whatever it wants. And is still a kid. I can already see my brain just turning into spaghetti. There uh, was supposed to be a fourth district, which was going to be a pirate lord. Pirate, pirate lord. Uh, but I'm going to curtail him out because I'm trying to get out of Derelict Town because I think we spent a lot of time here. So the fourth district will actually be the boss boss. Not that your characters know that, but I'm just saying metagame-wise. Mm-hmm. The third district is a town of a noble, or the district, rather, of a noble a noble man and his hunting beast and the entire district is their hunting grounds i will put that sniper use that sniper sample size to good use on you guys during that district face a large beast get sniped by a sniper who's fiddler on the rooftop sniping you that being said you guys do have something a bit important to that noble man sniper can you guys take a guess as to what it is? I think it's obvious, but... The signet ring. Yeah. Bingo! This is his son. Here in Derelict Town. You guys might be able to speed things up even faster. Or you might say the wrong things and uh, get hunted down like the dogs you are. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's the order of the... T- that's the order of districts. Another reason I bring this up is uh, as during your time in Traverse Town, there were facets of information about these, uh, I say people, um, ascendants, these transcendents. Um, some of which you guys might not have not- noted down or might not have remembered. Which is fine. As a, as a dig, I'm just saying as a matter of fact example. Um, you guys, if you guys want to retroactively get information, that is a possibility. I'm trying to recall bits of information. I'm not going to give you new information, but uh, I will maybe, depending on what you guys ask, remind you of what was talked about as a group. Not, not necessarily as characters. Okay. Yeah, so don't worry too much about trying to remember stuff like that. Like, no need to fucking go through all the VODs, watch you know, two weeks worth of interrogation sessions and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
Yeah, so don't worry about it. But yeah, next week, combat time. Uh, probably won't take the whole session. You guys are probably able to continue into the next, the kids' district next session as well. Ideally. That or combat will take... I was ration combat as two hours. Maybe I... There is a potential chance I am thinking about it now. It might take like three or four hours. Which is fine. It depends on your guys' tactics and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But yeah. Um, any, any questions? Comments? Concerns? Do we know if uh, O is the... Available next week? Yeah. No quote. I'm assuming he will be considering how nine of his assignments are due tomorrow. Okay. Or tonight. Will he be alive next week is the better question. <laughs> I think he'll be fucking Jones into play if, if he's done this week. Because he already took one of his exams. He just, he told us that. So that means logically, his exams are th this week, next week, maybe the week after. But by that point, it's the last exams. He's probably like a good bit prepped for him. Yeah. Especially if we tempt him with a boss fight. <laughs> what if you guys do it? It'll sound suspicious if it comes from me. <laughs> What's there to be suspicious of? We're just gonna be like, hey, there's a boss fight coming up. Yeah. See, the blood <laughs> Wanna come hang? <laughs> hey, hey, Chris, uh, Christy, you can use uh, the guitar like. Uh, well, like uh, yeah, like the who. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking I'll just use it as like a, a bat and just throw up uh, Benny. Just that's fucked up. Benny has done nothing but nice things for all of you. I say relatively. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will say, oh, oh, this might be something that happens in the next session. You guys should also, as a group or on the individual level, it's up to you guys, and then combine for consensus. Might have to think about what you guys take a long rest. Or something that at least confers a benefit to it. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah. Because I am very low in spell slots. Yeah. But the thing is, I told you now when the la the big bad boss fight is. It's at the last district. Mm hmm Obviously, the, the optimal thing is just fucking camp outside the door of the boss and take a rest there, forehead. Obviously, that's the most optimal strat, but it might not be a plausible strat depending on how these next districts go for you guys, especially when it's coming fight. Yeah, on that note, uh, what are the long rest stuff that we have available? You guys have one rest, like long rest stone from Lorelei, like the big one, the dinner plate one, and you guys have the the Verve bottles. Um, I don't remember, how, I think I gave you guys six of those. It was enough for all of you, minus like one. That being said, Abigail's not here anymore, so it is, as of right now, all of you minus one. But it's up to you guys. Or you guys could save them. Yeah. It's it's up to you guys. You guys don't have to have an answer for it right now, but I do bring that up to you guys. Like, mm -hmm. think of when you guys want to play. Yeah, if it's only spell slots for now, Kirsty, that you're short on, uh, it's probably better to chug a Manix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the resource we have the most of at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we should save the other potions for like right before the big boss fight or something. Or, yeah, or you could just rest. Or, yeah, when we get an opportunity. Or we could just rest, yeah. Over. We'll Although, see how it goes, I guess. Depending on how much we need it. Mm -hmm. I will say Benny's like bardic inspiration thing that he can give is is like you had to have an actual long rest so he has none of them yeah he has none of them obviously but and none so, of you died within like, range so he super has none of them yeah so yeah like you if you guys use the verve bottles benny doesn't regenerate anything Does i know it benny to... is like, like barely a facet himself of a variable but i bring it up nonetheless. none of the uh spearmen who stabbed me in the leg count Benny was on the it has, to, it has to be one of you guys. Oh, one of uh, yeah. Specifically, so, okay. it says like PCs, effectively. I'm good. Yeah, I'll change the rules. Or is anatomy. it? Ah, whatever. Well, the thing is, like, when the, they die, they don't. They didn't die. Die. You follow me? Mm. Follow. The only people that are alive in this land are you guys. 
And I guess the Corsair Fiend. But, uh... Uh, well, whether or not the Corsair Fiend was alive is a bit of a... It was surviving. <laughs> yeah. Nothing in this land actually dies, remember. They just sort of go to somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So when Benny gets out of here with you guys, man, he'll be a fucking steamroller. If, assuming he's within 30 feet. <laughs> I mean, say he only gives a. I saw I saw a UA the other day. It's actually an older one, but it just never pinged my radar. There is a feature for a specific UA subclass of bard, where it says if the bardic inspiration doesn't cause a thing to succeed, you get to keep it. And I'm like, holy shit, that's powerful. It's a 14th level ability, or 18th, something like that. And I'm like, well, that fucking explains it. It would also make bards like. A lot more overpowered and appreciated, but you know, overpowered. Maybe later levels for you, Kirsty, you'll get that feature. I'll just slap it on there. Hey. Just gotta, you know, get to a 14th level or whatever. Yeah, that's the uh, yeah. <laughs> the kicker. And now, you know, there's a bet going on. I'm gonna pin it right now, Fred, about when you think Ruhan is going to die. Yes. That's a tough question. Like, I, I think you actually got like one of the toughest people in the party. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I was like, I was like, you know, for every, other two, you can make a more, more like educated approximate guess. Ruhan, I'm like, I don't, I don't even fucking know. Part of me was tempted to say never. <laughs> I mean, if you if you gave me that as an answer, I feel like I can accept it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just be like he dies at level twenty. That's that's it. A level twenty post game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dies of old Honestly, age. Honestly, I was talking to my other group about this because they were talking about multiplots and stuff. Like, there's no rules in D and D that say specifically like your character ends at level twenty. Like, like that's it. Like that's over and done with. Like, mm -hmm. there's no rulings beyond that. So I'm a, I'm not afraid of going beyond level twenty for characters. I think the biggest accolade of that, though, is getting to level 20. Yeah. Yes. There are also the uh, epic goons and stuff like that. Yep. But, uh, yeah, I think the, the catch is getting there. It's you guys are probably level up after Derelict Town, probably. Hopefully. I say that as if, like, I'm not in control of it. But, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully if we live. And don't yeah, I think that's the biggest kicker. Play things by a child. I mean, the child is... She just wants to have fun! It's child, gonna be... Children are monsters. They will murder us. So? So are monsters. Monsters are monsters. You kill them all the time. What's the... Obviously, that means... Yeah, but children are creative. Out, you just have to kill a child. Children are creative. Oh, God, you're right. Hey, then you'll be the same as Connor and, you know, the squad. Squad. So, yeah, to, we're gonna I, let Barrett do it because Barrett basically does I that. upload them and put them in the other game. Unsurprisingly so. Listen, just kill. I have a plan. We kill the child. <laughs> oh, Batman or Joker. I actually never seen Heath Ledger like Joker. Like I never saw the movie. It's pretty solid. Oh really? It's yeah. On Netflix. I saw the Bane movie. I saw the Bane one. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't see the Heath Ledger one. I should though. Maybe some year. Yeah. Insanity, like gravity, all it needs is a little push. <laughs> I think Matt Cole brought this up, but I think oh, he did make a good point. He is the best chaotic evil alignment example, and not even for the fact that he's mentally like unstable and all that, and he is evil and blah blah. But the biggest catch of it is the when is when he talks to Two Face about you know his plans. He's like, I'm like a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do when I, I catch one. I think that's what makes a good chaotic character. You don't care about the end. You're just here you to care about the journey. Mm -hmm. I don't know what will happen to society once anarchy reigns. I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just trying to get there. I think that's one of the best things about the Joker is that he doesn't care. He doesn't know what happens. He acknowledges that he doesn't know what happens at the end because he doesn't think that far ahead. He's not a schemer. The cops are schemers. Gordon, the schemer. For somebody that hasn't seen the movie, you do a good impression. 
Are you oh, putting you your do, fingers you in your mouth? You stretch your face? Yeah. So, not with your fingers or anything, because that actually gets in the way of the cheeks. You stretch your face and talk a bit through your teeth. And then you do these, these pauses and your voice breaks. That's a good joker. So, yeah. Maybe I should watch at some point. Uh, <laughs> is there anything else I need to bring up? You guys know what the districts would be like? We're going to try to get out of this town. I have no clue when I'm going to show up. Wouldn't it be funny if you guys left town and then have to show up? That'd be wild. <laughs> That'd be funny as fuck. She's just like but, 20 uh, paces behind us. Like, oh, thank goodness we got out of there. Just like, oh, no, oh, whenever hey, Abigail gets to you guys, it's going to be a supply drop. Nifty. Like, she's going to... Uh, let's see, I have here. She has... Um, 80 bullets. Ooh. 80 arrows. 80 bolts. Um, five greater mana explosions, six greater healing potions, four superior healing potions, and something a bit special. So yeah, whatever Abigail gets you guys, um, it's gonna be a supply drop. Her time returned back to town wasn't wasted. She did get a vast amount of uh, goodies to come back with. So I look forward to that. Mm -hmm. Get restocked. Just, uh, you know, don't die. <laughs> I'll try I my best. Hard path, I know, but uh, try your best. Mm. You guys won't die, probably. 